Hello. And today we're going to open some Hot Wheels. Um, and we have, God, we've got just about just everything here from main lines to Ferraris to RLCs to premiums, um, a Barbie thing. We've got the Hot Wheels ID here, uh, two Fast and the Furious cars. Um, there's a there's a monster truck Barbie car in the background there, but uh, I've already opened that. Um, it's just there for moral support. But first, I'd like to start with uh, a bit of old business, which is what I call it when I open the Chevelle SS wagon, which is one of my favorite cars to collect. So I open them and I put them in their little packs. And I kind of get them out of the way. They're not super exciting to go over. Although there's one here that I want to look at a little closer. I kind of don't want to take this one out of its case just because someone's written Thelma's uh, <laughs> on it. And uh, I feel like that makes it special. You know, this is Thelma's Chevelle wagon. Not, not just a normal Hot Wheels Chevelle wagon. In any case, we're going to open it and hope that Thelma's not dead and vengeful. So this is a fairly plain uh, version of the casting, just just yellow with uh, rolls nicely. Uh, just yellow with uh, stripes on the hood. A little bit of paint scratchy, um, and then the. The door handles are also done. Yeah. And a little bit of SS badging there. The front grill with the headlights. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure why I love this casting so much. It's just... Uh, I don't know, the silhouette really appeals to me. I guess it's the combination of station wagon and muscle car vibes sort of competing. But whatever it is, I, uh, I haven't found one yet that I don't like, so. Yeah, put it in its little, doesn't fit in the wall. Um, those slots are not long enough for it, so it would have to be at an angle, and I hate doing that. But these blister packs are perfect. So, let's open this one, which uh, has great card art. You can see it says Fire Chief on the side. Um, and it's from the Showroom series. Years is from 2012. This one jumped right out at me. The orange is so good. It has a real um, feeling of depth to it. Flames are black flames with gold outlining. It's got the 68 up here. Um, I'm not sure why. It's a 70 Chevelle. It just has the sides, nothing on top. But, man, City Fire Department. Uh, the wheels even match the flames, black and gold. This is just gorgeous. And again, um, they seldom do uh, the headlights, and there's not nothing to do in the back. Um, but it doesn't really matter because the grill does a lot of the work. A lot of the work. And um, yeah, the headlights are nicely cast. So they do have a bit of depth to them, even if they're not painted separately. Anyway, let's 
let's put that in its case as well. Um, this one has a really nice uh, color to the interior. Oh, I did not show all of the uh, all of the stuff in the back seat there, or in the uh, you know the trunk. to display these longer castings because there's a few that I want to really highlight. Okay. Man, there's so many things. Let's do it. Uh, let's continue to do it because um, there's a few groupings. I've got three Ferraris here. Um, I got two cool combis and but I've also got and I want to start maybe next with uh, I have three AMG GTs. Um, in different levels of fanciness. So this is obviously already opened, but it's the AMG GT3. Um, and uh, kind of feels like it's got plastic wheels. How does it roll? No, it's definitely got rubber wheels. Oh, it rolls so nicely. Oh, wow. Um, and I'm not sure what set this is from, to be honest. I don't much care for the the wheels, uh, but the tires roll really nicely. Yeah, AMG GT3. Oh wow. They do the grill so nice. The lights, the vents. This is a really nice casting. Um. So this is a car that I kind of fell in love with because of these, um, well, there's a tarmac and also a sparky casting of it. And uh, I just really love the silhouette of the, the GT3, the AMG GT3. And uh, this one, it's not exactly the same, but they do have the raised, the raised spoiler and, uh, and that long, flat front end that I love so much. This curved yellow line is really nice too, that follows the contour of the car. Well done back lights. The AMG badging is a little hard to read. White on white. Uh, big back vents, a diffuser. This is great, this is a great casting. It, it rolls like a, like it wants to roll, like a dream. It's so good. Okay, wow. Um, that was that was better than I was hoping. I've had that. I've had that open in that bag for a while, and uh, you know, I was like, wow, I like those colors. Gray and yellow together are really nice. Um, and. Uh, I could tell that it had the silhouette, but it rolls amazing. The grill is done so well. And uh, the spoiler's really nice. Uh, this is going to go in the display with those, uh, you know, higher, higher, uh, fancy premium cars. It's just as good. It might even be, it, I mean, it's definitely more substantial feeling and uh, I don't know, it's got its own merits, especially versus the Sparky. Sparky has a few things going for it that Hot Wheels doesn't. It, they use real liveries um, and they can be quite delicate in the right ways. Um, this Hot Wheels is 
very substantial, rolls like a dream. Okay. Well, let's do this just, just for my sense of uh, OCD so we can end on this Fast and the Furious version and then go to a different Fast and the Furious. Um, so we have, this is a different car. It's the AMG GT rather than the GT3. Um, and it's from the ID series that Hot Wheels did where they've got the, I don't know, it's for an app or something. You can race your car and level it up. And I honestly, I don't care. Um, you can open the top. It's got stats, which is fun. You can see it. It's got the same yellow line, which is, which is kind of cool. It's actually, I mean, it's not the, the same, right? Cause it's not curved, but it's got the same break in it. So it's a thick yellow line with a thinner yellow line right beside it. It just doesn't follow the contours of the car, which is interesting. Now, how do I, how do I get this out? Oh, I, I need a knife. I need a knife. So this is from the ID series Speed Demons, I guess. Number four of five. Okay, oh, and it slides out like this. It looks like there's a magnet in there. Okay. Oh, it's not even... That was pretty cool packaging. So um, this actually doesn't look new. I can't remember where I got it or when, um, but it's definitely, looks like it's taken some, a bit of beating up, but that's okay. Um, the paint on it is really interesting. I wonder if this is black spectra flame, because it is, not normal black. Also, uh, the paint job on the wheels is so cool. I mean, you just don't see that in Hot Wheels. Um, yeah, this I could take or leave. The grill is not done as well, nor are the lights. Like that's like an, a that's like a peace symbol. Versus, look how good the one on the right looks. Hmm. But the paint is really something. Hot Wheels ID. I mean the back lights look okay. GTS AMG. Again with the Hot Wheels ID. The windows are basically blacked out. Left-hand drive. Oh, you can see through to the bottom. That's why you can see the steering wheel. I wish I had a flashlight. I could light it from below. Um, how does it roll? It rolls okay. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't compare. It just doesn't compare with the, uh, with the premium one. But the paint job itself, not the paint on top, um, like not the decals or the front. This is all bad. This is like actively bad, but the the like Spectra Flame black paint is, is really something. And the paint on the wheels is also, um, it really impresses. It really gives a nice impression. So this will look good um, in the display, for sure. Um, it's got that great silhouette still. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I really wish they hadn't or they had done 
more with, I don't know, the, the front and the back. I mean, the back, even the back is, is passable. I mean, it's a bit busy and indistinct, but it's not bad like this. Okay. It's funny how similar they look. And then we have from the Fast and the Furious series from, who knows what year, 2019. Um, is there anything else from this year that looks interesting? Uh, no. Oh, they did a Talladega. Yeah, I'm not interested in any of those. The Fate of the Furious, which I think is... Um, number eight, because the word fate rhymes with eight. So this is the same thing. Um, although this one gives a year. Oh, the other one did too. Yeah, that was a 2016. That doesn't say on the bottom, does it? AMG GT. And this is a 2015 AMG GT. So... Strange that they would. I wonder how big a difference in uh, the car there is to warrant the commissioning of another casting. Yeah, rolls well, like a main line. It's loud. Look at that. I mean, that's you know, that's a silver arrow. It's not a peace sign. That's what it's supposed to look like. The lights aren't brilliant. This um, gray is nice though, that the car itself is in. And the uh, black lines are nice. Being a main line, it doesn't get a back treatment, but I'm glad they gave it a front one at least. I think that's where it matters most, having that grill and the Mercedes logo. Yeah, I guess there's not so much to talk about with this one. There's not a lot going on that's either interesting or not interesting. Um, the black lines are okay. You know, they're not as cool as the yellow line on the on the on both of those actually. Um, but, uh, the lighter gray is, is nice. Um, it's a little more conventional. The darker gray feels, I don't know, interesting. A little, a little off. And obviously it has nothing on, on that paint. But, uh, the decal work is better. So, three AMG GTs, well, one GT3. And, uh, I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, this one, I think, all around is just better. Um, yeah. This one is definitely better in almost every way than this one. But this one has the best base paint out of all three of them. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to, you know, hard to make a choice there. Okay, let's put these aside. And uh, let's take a look at another Fast and the Furious vehicle and knock everything else over. Um, so this is a vehicle I quite like, the Land Rover Defender 90. Uh, doesn't really look like there's anything that interesting in this set, although I can't tell what that is. I mean, they do so many cars for these Fast and the Furious things that some of them are going to be cool, even though I don't particularly care for the films. Okay, 
I'm gonna preface this by saying, well, first of all, oh, it drives, it drives nice for a treaded, a treaded wheel. Um, yeah, it's a bit loud, but that's the treads. And uh, it has a, a sunroof as well. Um, yeah, I like this wheel choice for this car too. They did the steering wheels interesting. The angle it's at. Door handles are nice. Turn signals. Oh, the back is really nice. It's an approximation of the of the wheel, but it's an approximation of uh, an approximation of the actual wheel. And the Land Rover badging is well done, very well done. Yeah, I will say this though, it's very easy to make an all black, black on black vehicle look cool. Just murder it out and yeah, you've got a cool version of basically anything. But this is a very cool vehicle, whether or not it's murdered out. And they do the premium treatment on it pretty good. I like this, these front lights and grill. Windshield wipers are a little strange, but I, I like how they did the side views. And I like how much just glass there is. I mean, you know, plastic, but. This is just a really well done, a really well done casting of this vehicle. I have, um, I have one that I really like from Again, a, a more premium. Actually, I don't know if I'd say this Mini GT one is all that much more premium. But I like it. I like it because it's, uh, you know, the with the back off. That's really nice. I'm glad to have that. Let's look at some Ferraris. And let's start with this one. Oh, this one opens this way. The 512M. Factory sealed 2006 set. First editions. This, uh, this casting debuted the same year as the Bone Shaker. <laughs> All right, let's see how she rolls. Very nicely. Um, and I have to say that the, the gold goes really nicely with the red. The Hot Wheels logo is really nice. And the Ferrari. This feels almost cartoonish. But that's okay. Um, this is a very cool race car. I really like this car. It's all chrome interior. The side windows are cool. Um, this one actually has a moving part to show a really indistinct engine. But in true Ferrari style, it's the whole bodywork that comes up, leaving you with just the engine and the axles. The bottom's pretty cool too. It's got the vents done in chrome down there. This intake vent. Just the contours of this car, I really like. is loose. 
use. I don't think that's something I can fix. Okay, well, um, if I don't mess with it too much, maybe I won't break it anymore. I'd actually, I think this would be good without the moving part, you know? I think they could do a sleeker looking version of it, but it's a gorgeous car in real life and, uh, and Hot Wheels does a pretty good job here. Yeah, they do, they do some pretty, some pretty good, uh, some pretty good lines. This is a pleasure to look at. And the gold wheels are a nice touch. So that's the 512M. And uh, well, I'm not sure what to do next. Let's go, let's go like this. Let's do this one. We'll do them chronologically, I guess. So this is the Ferrari P4, which is a car I'm not really familiar with at all unlike the, the other two. Um, this is from the year 2001. Okay, so we're not going chronologically at all. <laughs> the card looks newer. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. It's got some of the chrome comes down through the bottom. I don't think I've ever seen that on a Hot Wheel. Hey, it's only got one peg, or a rivet. And then the chrome comes down through the bottom. Is it? Yeah. It's got one rivet and then it's like clipped, like the, when the bone shakers don't have a roof, that's how they, they do it. It's like clipped on. Interesting. Yeah, so the P4, I don't, I don't know anything about this car, but it's definitely, it's definitely a Ferrari. I mean, it shares a lot of DNA with, uh, oh, they gave it the gold wheels as well. I mean, it shares a lot of uh, DNA with this car. Um, you know, the big uh, front wheel wells, but then it's also got the, the cockpit with the side windows and the front, um, instead of a opening back I mean, it, it almost certainly did have an opening back, but uh, you get a big window for the, the mid-engine there. Um, I love these meatballs with the 24. I don't like the lines as much. It looks a little bulbous to me compared with the, uh, with the 512. The 512 feels like, you know, a race car. Where's um, this? This feels kind of like a a spaceship. I do like the vent there. Yeah, this one's not to my tastes. Um, Hot Wheels wise, it is interesting to see things that I've never seen done on a Hot Wheels before though, like this chrome bottom bit. I have seen the, the using one rivet and, and clipping it to the to the bottom before though. The Ferrari logo ruins the front meatball. Yeah, P4, not as good. However, the Ferrari 365 GTB or GT4, um, this is a cool car. 2000 first editions. I guess we're going in reverse chronological order. Um, this is a car with, well, almost pretty good, loud, but that's to be expected. Um, this is a car with a nice silhouette. It, uh, it actually kind of reminds me of the the AMG GT silhouette, but, uh, you know, um, longer, especially the cab or whatever you'd call it. 
and this is not as flat, it's more of a dagger shape. I like the silver on this car. I think the gold would have been too much because it's, it's a more understated car. Hot Wheels logo, the Ferrari badging, and then otherwise it's just very simple. It's got a, a really lovely tan interior. Some nice details, vents, even a carpet down there. Yeah, there's some some vents hinted at, as are the uh, raise up headlights. The grill looks nice. I wonder how they do this. Do they paint the metal? Is that what's going on there? They do. That's interesting. For the bumper. Yeah, I mean, obviously they don't get the color right at all, but. More detailed undercarriage than you usually see too. Uh, this one might be my favorite, just because it's, I don't know, it's a nice understated racing Ferrari. I quite like it. It's that of the 512. The 512 is really classic. I mean, it's hard not to love this car. But this one um, I've only become familiar with relatively recently, and uh, I do really like it. And those are the Ferraris. Okay, so now let's do Let's do the most premium one we've got, which is a RLC. Factory sealed from 2002, 2022, sorry. 85 Ford Bronco. Collector edition. These are the ones where you have to like be a member of the Hot Wheels Collector club, fan club, whatever you call it. Um, and then they sell out in like five or ten minutes. Um, and often they're often they're kind of dumb, but they'll have moving parts sometimes. And like, uh, um, I thought this one was very cool because it comes in a a version of the that classic Hot Wheels racing livery, but with Spectra Flame blue um, and a like two-tone yellow line, like normal yellow and then a gold or mustard yellow. It's metal on metal. It feels very substantial in the hand. Um, it does not have an approximation of the actual tire on this one. It rolls very nicely, um, and I would say it rolls, yeah, it rolls better and quieter than the uh, Defender does. This is just, like, when I think Bronco, this is what I think. Like, this is such an iconic silhouette and, and shape for this Bronco. I'm glad they did it with the top, because in my head it's always got the top, right? Um, with the tire on the back. I mean, the colors aren't what I picture when I picture a Bronco. Um, I'm going to move this over here again. This is the color scheme in my head for the classic Bronco, but um, this is definitely this is definitely the look, and it's got Hot Wheels, you know, put their their stamp on it, you know, their touch. Um, and I think it's, I think it's gorgeous. Uh, I really like the, the blue and the, I guess it is gold. It's, it's really giving me sort of, I guess maybe the yellow is influencing me to feel that the gold is more mustardy or maybe it's the, 
the tires. They don't quite hit a gold color with the tires. But either way, I do like the color. I'm just having trouble putting a, putting my finger on it. It's interesting that they went for uh, just a metal grill with the lights rather than painting them. Um, but it does look good. And it's, it's cast very well. There's a plane going by, I guess. The door handles are done really nicely. Back seats. Um, this is gorgeous. This is, yeah, this is really nice. I really like this. I'm a sucker for these Broncos though. Um, we had one when I was a kid and uh, I don't know, they're just cool. I find them to be cool in a way that's like not trying to be cool. Um, that's a very cool car. Okay, let's open. A Boulevard car, 71 Mustang Mach 1. Um, this is a car I've never seen in real life. Sorry. But um, the diecast company Greenlight has a couple of versions of it that I just fell in love with. Um, just the shape and the it rolls really nicely. It um. It's really big. It feels really big. Um, so, I actually have two from Greenlight. Uh, one in, actually these are both in off-white. Um, and one's the, sorry, this is the Mach 1 and that's the, the Shelby 350. So, there's the Mach 1. And uh, I just, uh, yeah, I just loved it. I just, I didn't think of myself as someone who thought Mustangs were cool. And uh, they just went and proved me wrong by making this like, I don't know, just like a Mustang that was not trying too hard. It was kind of effortlessly cool, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's putting too much thought into it. These wheels are amazing. Uh, these big silver five spokes, chrome sp five spokes. It says Mach 22, which maybe is a reference to the year that it came out. Nope, 2010. Um, I don't know what that's a reference to. did something wrong in there with the wheel, but it still rolls really well. Um, so this matte, dark, dark gray is uh, really nice. I didn't realize it was matte in the package. All of the details feel very cool to me. The lights, turn signals. This might be my favorite car of the of the night. It's a uh, this mad gray is so cool. I'm I'm such a sucker for matte paint on Hot Wheels though. Um, and the roll is the roll is as good as the. Uh, the roll was on the AMG GT3. Fuck, that's a cool car. Uh, I love the way they do these, the back window um, with the 
the thicker edge, um, but it's still just a piece of the, the uh, well, the, it's all one piece, the window, but they give it a thick edge here to make it seem like a separate window. Wow, that might be, that might be my favorite, I don't know. Okay, two left. This is uh, from this year, or last year. 2021, so it probably came out last year. And it's the Cool Combi. I don't know why they don't say Volkswagen, but it's, obviously it's, I won't, I won't get it out. Uh, obviously it's Volkswagen. Rolls well and loud. Um, it does the um, kind of confusing. I mean, it's very normal for Hot Wheels to have a big back tire and a little front tire, um, but so close together on such a small vehicle, it's a little bewildering. 30th anniversary, 92 to 2022. Yeah, so it was last year. The badging looks really smudged, but uh, not really to the naked eye, just, you know, zoomed in like this. I really think it could benefit from some front details, but I recognize these moon eyes need their big moon eyes on the side. However, that's still only two, and main lines normally get three passes, at least, right? Um, in the back, it's got what I think is engine stuff down there and then surfboards. Um, I've only recently started collecting the cool combi, so you'll have to excuse my lack of knowledge about it. Uh, it's got these drag balancing, you know, so it doesn't go into a, a wheelie um, trailer things and a little exhaust. It's a very cool casting. Um, yeah, and I, I do like Volkswagen vans. This one I could not resist. I love, um, well, I've got the, you can see it, I've got the Barbie Corvette monster truck. I've got the Barbie Corvette, um, from, I think it's 2014. Um, there's another one this year, but it, it's kind of garbage, so I've avoided it. And then there were these weird Barbie dream things that were also garbage. Um, but when they do get the Barbie stuff right, it's very cool, because Hot Wheels is usually, you know, a little macho. So it's nice to see something like this, or the Barbie dream camper that came out. That's also very cool. And Mattel owns them both, so, you know, it makes sense that they would do Barbie stuff. Um, that Barbie monster truck was a treasure hunt, and so it was very hard to get. Let's see how this rolls. I've never had a premium cool combi. Oh, it rolls really nicely. Barbie font. The interior is cool. What you can see of it. Uh, an amazing pink for the tires and for the uh, the surfboard slash engines. Actually, it's a different it's a different pink for the wheels, isn't it? It's almost a purple. I wish they would have gone with this pink, actually. Because um, I think it goes really well with this blue. And, yeah. It... 
as a vehicle, it really does benefit from a front treatment. Like that looks great compared to this. Although with this one, the depth of the VW does help. Um, but this looks amazing. That's a great front end. Uh, and I love the like stripes on the top. Wow, this is, this is so cool. It's just great. And it rolls really nice. That Barbie cool combi. I mean, it seems silly that they didn't do it before. It just makes, you know, she's going to the beach, she's got her surfboards. It makes perfect sense. All right, uh, let's do, I guess, a little roundup. Um, although there hasn't really been anything bad. I'm not gonna count the, you know what, I am actually, because this Fire Chief is exceptional. This Fire Chief Chevelle Wagon SS, or Chevelle SS Wagon, amazing. Barbie is amazing. And uh, the Bronco is amazing. And the GT3, the AMG GT3. Those are the ones that I would say are amazing. The Mach 1, I would say, is the winner. Like, just amazing plus. Um, these two Ferraris, I think, are just, just really, really great. Really great. Um, this cool combi, mm, it's, it's good. So, so is this Ferrari. They're both good. Um, I would say this is good. And the Chevelle is good. This one's so hard to... I'm gonna put this in with the, like the great category. And this one definitely goes in with the great category, but this one, if it had better tampos, would be here. Um, and if it didn't have the Spectre Flame paint, it would be back here, but it does. So it's, it's right in the middle. Um, but this, this version of it, just everything hits. And yeah, this is gorgeous. This Barbie one is perfect, just perfect. Uh, the Fire Chief, really cool. But this Mach 1 and the matte dark, dark gray. Wonderful. This is, this is a good haul. I'm really happy with, with all of these. Um, yeah, if I were to pick one that I was just not happy with, I would have, it would have to be this, this one Ferrari. Um, yeah, it just really didn't do anything for me. Um, everything that it did, this one does, the 512 does better. The P4, I guess, it's just not for me. But um, just because this one does things better doesn't mean this one doesn't do them. It is, it is still cool. It's just not for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I let me know what cars you liked. What was your favorites? Obviously, they're going to be different from mine. I find that to be the case. And I hope that you're having a good night or day.